Hey guys, Trent here coming at you with another video. This video is going to be about vintage uh, toys, vintage Masters of the Universe. Uh, I'm going to show you how I rebanded the legs of this vintage He-Man that my wife got me for Christmas. So if you're new to my channel, welcome in. My name is Trent. I'm a part-time reseller on eBay. I do it for fun and profit and I take you along for the journey. So please hit that subscribe button for more great videos in the future. But I also enjoy toys, okay? <laughs> I sell toys, but I like to collect them too. So I've been working on vintage He-Man because uh, it's something I had as a kid. And I got Origins up here too. Been working on that too because I'm a big kid. Uh, but my wife got me this He-Man for Christmas. Uh, it didn't have the legs and someone had uh, done the old way of rebanding the legs. And I just went through the process. I'm going to show you what I did. Uh, I could have been better prepared. I, I used this string. At first I was going to try to use this twist tie. I, I recommend getting, making sure you have a good thin piece of string that's strong. And I use these he-bands here. Uh, and uh, it was tough. <laughs> so now I got another copy of He-Man that I had before that my wife didn't get me. I'm thinking about reselling it. Because uh, even though this the paint on the face of this He-Man isn't the greatest, I think this might be... Uh, Motu collectors out there, if you can tell me... Uh, the waist on this guy, he stops at the front whenever you twist him. And also his armor is short length on the armor. I'm thinking this might be a, one of the more older ones. So that's one of the reasons why I like him. Well, other than the fact that my wife, you know, got it for me. So I have to keep it, you know, so there is that. Of course, I want to keep it because my wife got it for me. But I think... Even with the paint not perfect in the face, I, I like it as my my he my copy of He-Man. And so this He-Man that I had uh, has a little bit of issue with the armor. It's starting to wear out down there, and uh, I think it's the longer length uh, of the bands on the side of the where the armor connects. So I think this might not be as old of a He-Man, although they're both you know stamped of course 1981 like they all are Taiwan or most of them. But anyways, let's get into what I did. All right, here I have my Christmas present from my wife. She found this vintage He-Man uh, from the thrift store. Nice condition, especially like the armor piece. Usually this is in worse condition, so I'm happy about that. And it looks like it's the short length. That means I believe this would be one of the first releases of He-Man for that reason. And also the twist waist stops Later figures, I believe the spring action waist would keep going past the center point. So the fact that it stops right in the in the middle like that, I believe might be this mean means it's like a first more one of the first issues of He-Man. So obvious problem is the legs are detached. And what we have here is somebody has attempted to fix this before. And that fix is since broken. Uh, the old method of fixing these figures was to put hook screws, uh, screw them into each leg, and then take a rubber O-ring and attach, and you know, attach them this way. But over the last couple of years, they've people started manufacturing these things. They call them he-bands. This ones are just called connectors Motu 2.0. So I want to. This would be pretty much a replica of the exact kind of rubber bands that were in your legs originally. So I'm going to try to use one of those and do my first rebanding of the legs of a vintage Masters of the Universe figure. So I want to make it as close to original as possible. So to do that, what I would have to do first, I guess, is I'm going to have to take these hook screws out and try to get these leg holes back to the nice uh, little pocket for these key band connectors to go and fit in properly. So step one, what I'm gonna try to do is just go ahead and get these hook screws out. If this had not been done already, what you would have would be old, old rubber that you would have to dig out of here, basically, if you find a figure that has damaged legs. So I think without messing anything up, I can unscrew these hook screws. And I'm hoping the form of the plastic will be back kind of to normal. If not, uh, part of the procedure will be 
putting the legs in boiling water anyway, so perhaps it will help them get the form back to where they need to be. So got one removed. So the only thing is now there's gonna be a little hole there, but that shouldn't matter. So we'll try to get the other one out here. Seems to be pretty easy having no problem doing that. Not a bad way to repair the figures, but since these uh, replica authentic connectors exist now, might as well do it the, uh, the more authentic way, I guess. All right, so got those out. So now it will be like down to the rebound, rebanding. All right, so we're gonna do this. Uh, I've got everything set up. Uh, first off, we got some freshly boiled water. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the legs in there to get them soft and I want these, uh, these holes to get less oval shaped and more into a, a round shape again. We'll see if we can do that. So that's the first thing. So while those are getting, uh, the plastic's getting soft in there, uh, I've got, the string to try to pull the band through, I'm gonna try this uh, twist tie. It's pretty long. So we have to, one thing you gotta know is don't put it through this easy part right here. It's gotta go up through this secondary part right here. Up there where it's hard to get it through, that's where it's gotta go. <laughs> and so we got our band, got it ready. Now we got some needle nose to, to try to do this and then a screwdriver to try to manipulate it when we need to. So I'm going to try to do the left leg first outside of the body and then uh, string it through once I have one band, one side of the band in place on one leg and then have to band the others. The right leg will be harder because it's, oh actually you know what I should probably prep the figure too. I should probably uh Eh, maybe I don't need to. I'll just put the arms up like this. But I just need to be mindful. I don't want to uh, do any damage to the armor or anything like that. It was a nice piece of armor. So the legs have been in there for a while now. So this is the right leg. I want to see. Yeah, see now the this is I can make it back to its more of its original form. So that's a good thing. So that, with that being said, this should be the easy one to get in because it's free of the figure. So we'll see how easy this is to get in there. And so yeah, I just pop, pop it in. It didn't completely go in. So I need to get the other side to pop down in there. And I see the rubber is like surrounding it or the plastic is surrounding it. So that's in there pretty darn good. So that was easy. Of course, like I said, that was the easy one. So now, let that cool just a little bit to where it will solidify in place and actually while the other one continues to soak now we got to get it fed through up and over okay actually the twist tie was a bad idea it's it's not going to work so i got a piece of string here probably not the best piece of string either but we're gonna have to tr make it work we're gonna see so I'll get it through. Okay, got it going through. Got to get that piece of the heat band up in there. We're getting there. Okay, I must say it does take a lot more, seems to be taking a lot more force than I thought it would. 
does concern me a little bit. Hmm, I don't know. That seemed a little too difficult. Seems like I didn't do something right. The problem is it's got caught up in that little plastic piece up there and it's not towards the back. I'll see if I can reposition that back. These bands are really rigid. Okay. Guess that did it. His leg seems pretty tight. Okay, now I'm gonna see if I can put in the other side. <clears throat> I think I got it started. I see I got one half of it in. I just got to force the other part in. <clears throat> okay, that was pretty challenging, but I think I got it. All right, yeah, I did it, but that was stressful. <laughs> I tell you what, it's not easy. So there we go. My, my wife got me this vintage He-Man for Christmas and I have restored the legs to where he can do a uh, battle stance again. So tough going, but it can happen. So that's how you do it. Probably need to get some better string if you're gonna do it. Uh, that did make it a little bit more challenging. So but anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, see you on the next one.